10.52 is the time. Need to know is the program. Here's a disturbing headline. Children in America are trending towards becoming the first generation to live less longer than their parents. Here is a gentleman who is very passionate on this topic. Healthy living expert Greg McCoy joins me. Greg, welcome to Iowa Radio. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing great. Let's first of all analyze the cause of this. Greg, what is going on with our kids? They may live shorter lives than us. Yeah, it's a variety of issues. Um, a, a lot of it's related to a more sedentary lifestyle there. Um, you know, the the end of the equation is that childhood obesity is on the rise, though we know more than ever about how to be healthy, how to maintain healthy lives. Um, we're trending in the wrong direction, and it's affecting, of course, the adult population, but probably more disturbingly, uh, the childhood population is, is getting a, 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 the brunt of the um, bad results. So, Greg, that's a great point. We know more than ever. So why is this happening? Is it exercise? Is it diet? What, what, what's going on with our kids? And what's happening more than was happening before? Yeah, you know, it's, we, I say we know more than ever because it's not 1950. We're not trying to understand why, um, why obesity is happening. We, we, don't, we understand the uh, health issues related to smoking. We understand the health issues related to fast food and a bad diet. The thing is, those things are hard to change. It's not a matter of we don't know what to do. It's just hard to do it. Um, but we as adults, where, where it's especially painful with the, the children is they, they don't know any better. Um, we're in the lead, so we need to lead accordingly. Um, and so the, the, the debate kind of comes to who's, who's responsible for, um, for, for helping these kids get healthier and live longer than we did, right? And yeah. it comes down to you know, both at home um, teaching the child self-responsibility. And then, of course, they spend, most of them spend, you know, six to eight hours minimum in school every day. So what responsibilities do, does the school system have? Yeah, so give me some solutions, Greg. I know you go into school systems to talk on this topic. So, yeah, what are what are the solutions? How do we turn this around? You know, they, there, there's a lot of budget cuts, so part of it's monetary, but there, there are solutions that don't require big investments. Um, you know, uh, we, we need to keep kids moving every day. So there is a time investment, but we don't necessarily need to have expansive facilities uh, to take care of these kids moving every day. Um, one of the issues, too, that doesn't cost money to correct is, so if we're going to do a PE class, a lot of our PE classes these days are centered around sports. And sports are great. Sports are a great outlet to keep mm-hmm. kids moving. However... Once you graduate school, less than 5% of adults participate in organized sports. We graduate school having never been taught how to exercise as an adult. So physical education needs to be that. We need to educate people on how to be healthy once they leave school, not how to play football um, and dodgeball. Um, so Because those aren't life skills we're going to use. Like, Sure, that stuff doesn't need to go away because having fun and being healthy is it's an important part of the equation. But we do need to take, you know, the, uh, the opportunity to educate people on, okay, once I graduate school, this is what it looks like to do resistance training. This is what it looks like to have a, a, a habit of, you know, taking a walk or taking a jog on a, on a daily basis. But, Greg, isn't your biggest enemy there that people think that's boring? I mean, you know, we all loved a good kickball game when we were kids, man. I, so now you want me to do resistance training? Is that like the <laughs> ultimate resistance to what you're saying? Yeah, it's it, well, you know, it's a it's a high that's obtained by the people that that learn how to do it. You know, you enjoy what you're good at. Yeah. And so, if if you're bad at something, you're not going to want to do it. If we never take the time to get good at it and to feel what it feels like to make progress on ourselves, mm. then of course it's, we're going to dread it our whole lives. Like yeah. we're only going to remember, oh, the you know. But if we don't do it frequently, like you know, if our coaches in the, in school, you know, made us run the mile twice a year, like we're of course we're going to hate running, you know. But if it's like okay, I, I ran a little bit incrementally more day after day to the point where. When I did the mile test, I was proud of myself. You're going to have a healthy relationship with exercise. 
That is healthy living expert Greg McCoy. Greg, great topic, very relevant topic today. Thanks very much for talking with me. I'm about to move on out of here, be back with you with a Friday edition.